Now we're going to hear from Mary Louisa Volbrecht. Mary Louisa is a PhD student uh, biology, in biology, behavioral physiology and neuroscience. She's currently studying in Berlin. Um, Mary Louisa is a member of a feminist group called Sisters EV which helps women exit prostitution and educates people about prostitution and the Nordic model. She's a feminist Twitter activist at Fraulein underscore Vogel IV or Fraulein and uh, her talk will be about sex and gender was cancelled and it started a very big conversation. So it's a great pleasure to have you here talking with us and we're so sorry that of what has happened in the last few months to you but thank you for coming so i i want to take the chance and tell you uh the short story of what happened and then maybe give you a little bit more insight why it escalated the way it did and it's still escalating in germany so the short version is that um as you heard, I'm a PhD student in, uh, in biology. Um, I teach students and in Berlin, we have this uh, and, and public science event. It's called the long night of the sign of science. Uh, and everyone that is in a university can contribute to it. Um, this year, it was about um, yeah, misconceptions in science, fake news in science and what we can do as scientists um, to, to help, or what is our role in society. Um, so in um, uh, the beginning of the year, I said, oh yeah, I want to contribute to that. I feel that uh, many people don't understand the difference between sex and gender, because they think that sex is somehow a spectrum and they always mix up the two, the two things which is because in Germany, we don't have these two words for it. We use actually the same word, Geschlecht, for um, like the biological thing and also the, the, the other thing that you use for gender. Um, and this was approved and uh, it, was, it found its, the, its way in the, in the program. Um, but in the beginning of uh, July, when I was scheduled to have this uh, presentation, 30 minutes uh, on a Saturday evening. Then um, it was, first it was canceled and then rescheduled to, um, to another date because uh, activists from my university uh, planned a big protest. Um, they used the student mailing service to uh, inform every student, uh, as far as I can tell, of my university to say, um, I will teach some outdated biology. Um, it's hostile against trans people. It's hostile against queer people. And um, it also, I, I am a really problematic person. Um, I then had the talk on the same day on a YouTube channel of one of my friends. She's a radical feminist from Austria. Uh, you can actually watch it, watch it. It's still online. It has now 140,000 views, I, I think. Uh, it also has English subtitles. So everyone could see what I plan to talk about. And it was just a biology lesson. It had nothing to do with trans people whatsoever. It was just why are there only two sex why sex and gender are different things, why is it important for biology and research in general, especially when it comes to medical science, to distinguish between the two of them. And that I even said that each of this has a place in, in, in academia, but you need to, um, to separate them and be really, really clear. Uh, yes. Then I gave this, um, I gave my presentation under uh, police protection <laughs> two weeks uh, later. And somehow it escalated, it, it didn't stop then, it escalated even more 
So um, now I am the most uh, hated woman on German Twitter. Um, I am involved in uh, four to five legal <laughs> proceedings um, against uh, yeah, trans organizations, against my university. Um, and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to, to stop. Like this is the longest shit storm. Um, people who know these things uh, told me that that's the longest shit storm uh, ever recorded in German Twitter. It's, it's going on since July. And there's always a new wave and a new wave, a new wave. Um, yeah. So to understand <laughs> how it got so far, maybe you need to know, know three things that happened before my talk and three things that happen after my talk um, to give you some perspective why um, why I am now this this person or personification of this conflict between trans activists um, and feminists or general people who are um, pro um, free speech um, so, the first, th first thing that happened um, before my talk, there is an ongoing debate about a self-ID law in Germany. So our government, who consists uh, of uh, people from the Green Party, Social Democrats and Liberals, want to, um, want to uh, yeah, um, want to put a self-ID law in place in Germany which uh, means everyone can just go to an office and say okay i feel i now want to be male or female i, I want to change it and they should um uh, like there's no examination whatsoever and they can yeah you can change your legal gender status uh once once a year um some of the versions uh, especially targeted uh, minors and said uh, you can do that from 14 year if you're 14 years old and um, restricted the parents um, the parents rights to decide for their children um, so me and uh, some feminists we are really um, protest protesting against it and trying to raise awareness because no one really knows what uh, the government plans or until recently no one really know, know what was going on. Um, yeah, that was the one thing um, that happened before. The second thing that happened before was that I and some other biologists I met online, um, other researchers, a, doc, a psychiatrist uh, for children with gender dysphoria, we uh, wrote a report, um, a small study uh, where we watched um, German public broadcasting. Uh, so this is um, this is state funded. It's pay, it's it's paid from our taxes, um, and uh, we we wrote this report. And because there were there were a lot of misinformation spreading uh, to the public through this this channels, and one was also about. The reality of sex what is sex what is gender how many sexes are there then it was actually advertising self-id law in children's program um it was a lot of uh, yeah it had a lot of uh, report about trends um and uh, and uh, yeah uh, but it was also had like implicit sexual um <laughs> Yeah, sex, sexual things that were brought to um, to children or young adults on their channels. Uh, for instance, they would put an image of a penis um, and would call it a vulva. So they would put different vulvas uh, next to each other in one of their Instagram's channels, and then they just put a dick inside, like things like that. We all, we all criticized it. We wrote this really really long report. Um, and uh, then we circulated it uh, amongst other academics. So at the end, we had an open letter. We had this report. We had uh, 120 
scientists, uh, researchers, doctors, um, psychologists who signed our open letter that we said, please, the program has to, um, yeah, has to be truthful to these, um, uh, to these subjects and don't report one sided on it. Um, we also wrote, I co-wrote a um, newspaper article to, to yeah, we wrote it in a, in a German newspaper to um, advertise this open letter and this report. Um, and this, yeah, this, uh, this uh, piece was behind a paywall. So not many people read it. But there was a was a, this was the first shitstorm because everyone was like, "This is hostile against trans people, and you're um, I don't know, you right winged uh, American Christians who wants to want to forbid uh, I don't know <laughs> sexual informations uh, towards children. Uh, many things that that that, is, that that are not in this um, in this newspaper article, and this article came out in June." So that was the second thing that happened. And then I was uh, in, the, in the spotlight because my, my name was on this article and on this re report. So before, no, no one really cared about me. Um, the third thing that happened before is that I have a Twitter account, which I, I would not have called an activist account. It was just an anonymous Twitter account um, yeah, not affiliated with my name, not affi affili affiliated with the university. Um, I would just use it in the beginning to promote some information about prostitution, um, have some fun. <laughs> uh, and then I switched and I, I tried to also educate some people about uh, biology. Um, but it was a, it was, most of the time, a really small account I have, I have for five, five years now. Um, and suddenly, a month before, before my talk was scheduled, um, a lot of uh, trans right activists would, uh, yeah, would uh, circulate my name, I started to inform the university. Um, I mean, I was always harassed by these trans activists online, but it was it would just completely yeah escalate. Um, I mean, there are some queer activists and trans activists, they were obsessed with me. They would tweet like five, six times a day about me. They would openly th threaten me um, even before um, my, my talk was canceled. Um, so <laughs> these are the three things that, uh, yeah, that happened before. I was supposed to give my talk and that all contributed to this um, really hostile environment. Um, the three things that happened afterwards that you might need to understand uh, the situation now is that once um, my talk was cancelled and then rescheduled, um, the media would immediately jump on it and make a big case out of it, like of, of cancel culture, but almost immediately um, a lot of media were reporting, um, were like targeting me and tr tried to dig up some, some, some dirt about me uh, because they really, really hated the subject of my talk um, because they used this confusion about sex and gender to, to promote their, their own agenda. So for a week or so, um, many media try to, to find a biologist who says that what I explained is wrong, but they couldn't find anyone because what I said was basic biology. But anyway, they, they try to target my reputation. Um, they try to, to find mistakes in my talk um, about sex and gender. And when this not worked, then they would go after me uh, and together with the people uh, online uh, tried to yeah to put me in a in a right corner they said oh, she's 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 a right winged and she's involved in um 
uh, she's she's involved in uh, some I don't know uh, organizations or or troll <laughs> things that that uh, threaten trans people or want to try to uh, to to harass trans people to take their own life. Um, so that, that was not only activists who spread all these rumors about me, also this bigger media would jump on it. And one media, um, uh, one, one uh, news, newspaper actually wrote that I am close to the NPD, which is the, the, the neo-Nazi party in Germany. And they used, they, they faked some um, conversations online, like really badly. They photoshopped my picture in a conversation that a journal journalist had with the head of the neo-Nazi party. Um, and um, yeah, and to, to claim that I'm right-winged. And I am not right-winged. I've never even talked with anyone who's right-winged. I'm a left-wing woman, but these constant, uh, yeah, rumors they just added up and now many people think that i did something i did something wrong and i'm a right wing person um so the second thing that happened then was that they took many of my tweets um many of my tweets out of out of context to try to twist it to show what uh, what a horrible person i am um uh, and there was one conversation I had, it was about that I said, stop sterilizing children um, against, against puberty blockers. Um, and I said, oh, this is just like the Nazis sterilized tr trans woman. And I said, oh, I never heard about it. Can, can you give me a link to that? Um, and in this conversation, they just, they just took some of my tweets and said, this is like basically Holocaust denial. So, um, then uh, a site that is called Trans Media Watch um, for many queer organizations, who um, is this, this is an initiative who watches other medias, how they uh, report about trans issues, um, sp started spreading a hashtag that uh, trans activists uh, suggested, which was Marie is denying Nazi crimes. And then again, the the media picked up on it and said, oh yeah, she's she's denying Nazi crimes. Some media twisted it, it's like, yeah, she's a Holocaust denier. Um, it was it was insane. Um, I had to go to court and gladly there was a there's a first decision now by the judges that they had to delete this. Um, and they looked at the case, they looked at the things that I said and, and they were like, yeah, no, this is not, she's not denying Nazi crimes, this is insane, and this is uh, re it's really hurtful to her personality and her, uh, her rights. So um, gladly, this, the first decision of the judges uh, yeah, confirmed what I said all the time. Um, but still, it's out there, people spreading it. I have a Wikipedia page, people put it up. A trans activist said that uh, he had or she had to flee with her family because my um, my followers would uh, uh, would uh, I don't know come to a place and smash some windows like these rumors were spread um, and it all when when this one thing was resolved when Marie is denying Nazi crimes and the next thing happened that uh, last weekend there was a um, a pride a pride event. And said really, really sadly, um, a trans man was killed. Um, but the first thing that happened is that people would uh, would say that it's my fault. So they would again uh, use hashtags like Marie murdered too, or it's Marie's fault. Um, so leading feminists, um, it's the fault of leading feminists. When I don't know, people from Czechnia, Czechnia who who are transphobic or uh, hate gays and lesbian, uh, punish someone, and uh, which is insane. And it's not only this anonymous people on Twitter, it's politicians, 
it's um, journalists, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's artists, um, they're all they're all coming uh yeah they're all coming for me they're always putting my name uh somehow i'm responsible for for these things that happen um in my talk about sex and gender i said i used the kiwi as a fun example like the kiwi plant uh because the kiwi plant usually is um has separate sexes on two different um uh, two different individuals uh, and I found a funny mistake that someone wrote something about the gender identity of the Kiwi so I use this as an example to how not to report on these issues and then people on Twitter would put uh, Kiwis in their um, in the bio and it was a running gag radical feminists did it but then also um, yeah some trolls jumped jumped on it and somehow now some politicians say, oh yeah, the Kiwis, all this Kiwis uh, uh, movement has something to do with uh, Frau Vollbrecht, and there's also Kiwi farms who are stalking and harassing trans people, so it all comes together. So apparently Kiwi farms is also my fault, or I was asked to distance from it, um, from a politician who said, uh, who wrote my university and said, I should never be allowed to te teach in my life um yeah this is uh i hope i got i, I gave you a good overview <laughs> of the situation now um and I'm, I'm still fighting this on many levels um i'm happy that i have a really really good lawyer um but i don't expect it to stop anytime soon i'm like now the the, the most famous turf um in Germany, and it all started with with just a a thirty minute talk uh, on sex and gender and basic biology.